So without further ado, let's get started. The next, uh, the next 30 seconds might be a little confusing, but just type in what I'm about to type. We're basically just going to declare all the variables that we need for this method that we're going to be using later on. So we're just going to do that, and I'm going to explain to you what each of these these uh, these things that we're creating as as I use it. But for now, just copy along with me. We're going to be using a J file chooser, which is just a GUI. Uh, this lets the user this lets the user choose. A file from their computer and we're just gonna call this chooser we also need a file filter we're gonna call it filter <clears throat> again I'll explain this uh, I'll explain this once I actually get to using it we also need a uh, file input stream I'm going to call this FIS. I'm just going to set it to null for now. We also need a, uh, a book. Set it equal, set it to book. We also need a string called book title. I also need a VIM object that we're going to be adding to our book. Uh, we're going to call it Vim. We also need a file call it file and set that equal to null for now and also set this title for uh, for now null we also need a uh, a byte array we're going to call it data and set it to null for now this byte array is going to contain our data that we're going to be storing uh, we're getting some errors here. Just import that from Java Swing, the file filter too. And make sure you choose the one coming from java.swing.filechooser. And one last thing, we're going to need a Boolean. We're going to we're going to call it stop. We're just going to set it to false. Um, and I'm going to show you what this boolean is for. Now we're actually ready to start programming. <clears throat> so first we're going to prompt the user to enter the book title that they're going to be adding the, uh, the, the file to. So system dot out dot print line enter book enter book title to uh, put the file on. Now we're going to set the book title that we uh, created over here to the user input. Again, we're expecting the user input to be uh, one word. Remember, one word. Now we're going to get the book object. Set this book object that we created here to uh, <clears throat> to the book that we're going to extract. Now remember the uh, remember the the method that we created in our library class that uh, extracts the book from the given title. Well, we're going to make use of that. That's why we created that method. And remember, in our main system class, we have we declared a library object. So we're going to just use that and. I'm going to call get book by name. 
and I and I know it should be get book by title, but you know, I just call it get book by name. And we're going to pass in the book title. Now this book will either be null, or or it will act, or it will uh, it will be an actual book. Now if the book is null, all we're going to do is tell the user. that the book does not exist. Otherwise, <clears throat> if the book is not null, else we're going to do a bunch of stuff. Else it's not null, so now we want to prompt the user to enter the uh, to actually give us the file that that uh, he wants to save into the uh, into the bo into the book object that he uh, he gave us, so system dot out dot print line choose your video slash image slash music file file to add oh and this needs to be a string forgot the quotations And then we're going to use the J file chooser that we created. And we're actually going to uh, make this thread sleep for one second so that the user sees this, uh, this prompt before the GUI, before the J file chooser GUI pops up so that he knows what he wants, so that he knows that uh, we're going to make him choose. So the way we're going to make this. Uh, the way we're going to make the uh, J file chooser to wait one second before popping up is we're just going to say thread dot sleep. And this takes in time in milliseconds, and one second in milliseconds is just 1000 millisecond. So that's just a little uh, bonus for you guys. Learned a little conversion. Though I'm pretty sure you already knew. And this is good. This can throw a uh, interrupt, interrupted exception. So we're just going to surround that with a try and catch. Once, once we waited for one second, we're actually going to open up the J file chooser GUI and have the user browse for the file that he wants to he wants to save, wants to import. And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna just uh, set our chooser, our J file chooser, to a new J file chooser. And we're gonna create we're gonna instantiate the filter the file filter that we created. We're just going to say new file name extension filter. Now what this file name extension filter is going to take is, well I think I should show you first, I should demonstrate what this is first before actually uh, putting in the parameters just so that it makes more sense. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. 